Jesus. As an advocate for more media attention with regards to women's sports, I was honored to be able to cover a tournament dedicated to supporting and empowering young women in all communities around Florida. We are here at the Suncoast Boat Show, the 41st Suncoast Boat Show here at Marina Jacks. I am here with the Director of Business Development. This is Nick Pantner. Nick, thank you so much. Nick, I got to ask you, man, what exactly are we sitting on up here today? We're actually sitting on a $3.2 million vessel. From well, well, hold on, hold on. $3.2 million. Yep, you heard that right. Oh, I knew Don was going to make me do this one. The 2023 Sarasota Manatee Ohio State Alumni Golf Outing will be held on a Sunday this year. The annual tournament is Sunday, April 23rd. It benefits students who graduated from any Suncoast High School and attend the Ohio State University. Yes, I say it like that because I am a Penn State Big Ten boy. In a city filled with arts, music, and a lot of culture, the world of pickleball has invaded Sarasota. People doing what they love is one thing. People doing what they love in service to others is something truly remarkable. And that's exactly what's going on right here behind me. And SNN Sydney Rell joins me on the desk. Welcome, Sydney. Thank you, Eric. So I was able to catch a glimpse of the Suncoast Boat Show, but you took a deeper dive into what the show had to offer. In Sarasota, we are ranked fourth best party city in the U.S. You're welcome. The new distinction is by the website bonusfinder.com. The number of live music events, bars, hotels, nightclubs, casinos, adult entertainment venues, and late night restaurants help to determine the list of the 10 hotspot cities. And exciting news for Sarasota Branson International Airport. Passenger numbers are skyrocketing. Saw a 3% increase with 342,837 travelers surpassing last year. So when you think of opera, you typically think of your grandmother or your grandfather. However, there's a society here in Sarasota that would beg to differ. Two companies with one goal in mind. Combat childhood hunger. All right, so talk to me about what is going on here today because I understand this was the second location where this was going to be held today. A Maryland man has found his lucky numbers. According to the Maryland Lottery, a 52-year-old anonymous player from Charles County has won his third $50,000 prize in 11 months. Well, I'm definitely going to go play my numbers tonight. Make sure you do for the Powerball. Listen, we appreciate all of you tuning in to SNN, the Suncoast News Network. On behalf of meteorologists Alex Vaughn, Sydney Rell, and our production team, Sarah and Tyler, we thank you. I'm Eric Wilson. Have a safe and great rest of your evening.